great. So when reassembling your iPhone, it's quite straightforward if you follow these steps. What I have from my previous video is two ice cube trays full of all our parts in sequential order. So we're going to be going through those to repair our iPhone. We have all our tools. We've reapplied our new screen as in the previous video and we're about to start reassembling. Now, the first thing you want to do is take the four outside screws that go here, 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 and here, and reinsert those. So I've just, I'm just gonna put all four on my workspace here. Now, if you have a cheap screwdriver, which comes with most repair kits, this can be quite painful, the reassembly process, because they don't have ma much magnetism in the screws themselves, in the screwdrivers themselves. So what you can do, if you get a strong magnet, from anywhere and just run your screwdriver over that magnet and that will help re-magnetize the surface and make it so much easier for you to do these screws, particularly these screen screws like these ones just here. Now if you're finding that the screw isn't going in, what you can do is just double check that the screen is actually attached and down because if that's raised slightly there, it may not be able to hook in correctly and go in properly. Also be gentle with this cable just here when you're doing this. So the trick to putting these screws in is to get your washer and screw pair and place them together like that. And now get your screw your screwdriver and stick it into the hole but angle it up like that so that it's harder to fall off and you want to find your hole and with it still angled up insert it into that screw hole just there and give it a few twists so it's in now that's one of them now if you're finding that this isn't working very well for you and you're finding it very very painful uh, you're not alone the first few times you do this it will probably take you 15 minutes to 20 minutes to do these six screws particularly if you have a cheap screwdriver and the videos do make it look easy online and I could just edit out all the middle bits and the stuffing around in the filling and do this in like 10 seconds which most of the videos that are online do however uh, that wouldn't really help you I want to actually demonstrate that this does take a while so if you're feeling frustrated uh, it's okay can get through it, it just takes a little while to do. Okay, make sure you're very careful of that cable just there. Now one thing you can do if you're finding that it's not working so well is to use a pair of pliers to place the larger screws in their right holes. So again, you can see this is quite a frustrating part of the process, and I haven't fast folded deliberately. <coughs> One to go. As you can see, even with a better tool, it's still quite uh, fiddly to get this done right. This does make for quite a boring YouTube video though. But that's the honest truth. That part is quite fiddly, so if you're frustrated, don't worry about it. You're still a living legend. So I'm just going to insert this vibrator again. So I'm just going to insert this vibrator again now. Now usually I reassemble 
anti-clockwise as I disassemble clockwise but this one's much easier to insert the large screw first because trying to insert the small screw first is quite difficult and painful on this particular part so in this case I have an exception and I just put the larger screw in first you want to make sure they're quite tight as the vibrator physically moves and that can cause some problems if it's not in tight enough now this is the threaded screw that we put out before and I'm just going to insert that one again and just be quite gentle with how you do it and don't go too hard or too fast and that one should be holding in nice and securely there as well so you can reuse those screws if you thread it but just try next up I'm going to insert this motherboard again now most videos will show you inserting the ringer speaker which is this part just here first how and you bring it down here however I find that's quite painful and gets in the way a lot so I'm going to insert the motherboard first now what you want to do you want to hold your finger here and push that cable here into the mother the frame just there because that is the biggest pain when you're trying to insert the motherboard then just tuck it in out of the way put the front down first and insert it now one thing to watch for though is you need to make sure there's a small rubber clip it's not really a clip it's more a rubber piece on the end there now this basically sits just over here I'm going to put it back on again properly and that helps keep the motherboard safe uh, sorry keep this cable safe from the motherboard because the motherboard is quite sharp on that corner and when we insert near this cable it's going to keep it nice and safe so make sure that is still there as well so now again angle it down front in first slot it in and there you have a motherboard now if you're struggling you probably need to push down more on this cable because that's what pushes it out as well with the motherboard inserted well you can hold it down gently and start reinserting all the screws now this is the one from before remember i wet the screw before and it's gone bright red that shows you the water damage has been done to it that was deliberate of course though i was going to remove that so that if anyone ever has to pull this phone apart again they don't feel like there's actually been some water damage to the phone so just pull that off there as well basically this screw here then goes in to the motherboard just here Again, I reassemble anti-clockwise here, here, and here because when I disassembled, I took out and out this way clockwise. And the way this happens with my screw system, I put the screws here, here, and here. So to do it clockwise, I just get this one out here and insert here. Now, this is a Phillips screwdriver. It can work sometimes with these, but what you probably want to do is get your flathead screwdriver and drive this one in using your flathead screwdriver, which is what they're really designed for. If you don't have one though, this Phillips head can do the job some of the time. Make sure that one's nice and tight because there's a speaker under that, and if the motherboard isn't down tight enough, the speaker won't be able to be detected by the motherboard properly, and you have some sound issues in there as well. Lastly, get this screw here and insert it into the hole here for the motherboard. Just here. Next up, just insert this again. It's not that difficult to do in the end. Just pop it in there, slot it down. Make sure that all these little tabs here are tucked in as well. Then there's a screw to insert just on the right hand side here. So just go ahead and stick that one in as well. Cool. Moving on. Next up, you want to insert this piece here into that clip there. Now, it's quite fragile, that round clip. So when you're inserting it, make sure you don't push too hard. Otherwise, you can bend that wall and it won't go in properly. Now, you should feel it physically go in at the end. And if it isn't in properly, you'll see the term searching on your screen. And if that screw is not in properly as well, you'll also see searching on your screen when you've done the repair as well.